Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're running an NVIDIA-based system with an NVIDIA GPU, just to let you know that with the release of the NVIDIA driver, 572.83, that was released around about the middle to the 18th of March last month, that there are reports that the driver is causing a black screen during the installation process for some users after rebooting and while in the middle of gaming itself. Now, if we just head over to a forum thread regarding the driver, two of the main fixes, ironically, were the first, graphics cards may not run at full speeds on system reboot when overclocked, and GeForce RTX 50 series GPU crashes with black screen. Now, it's ironic that there are reports that there are users who are saying that there is still a black screen, and there are black screen issues. And according to a forum thread, which I'll leave this linked because it's got all the links for the different drivers and release notes and so on. If you go right down to the bottom, there's a thread where users are saying, as mentioned, it's causing a black screen for multiple GPUs, mainly on newer 50 series GPUs, although there are reports that 40 series are also affected, but 50 series are more the majority that are being affected. Now, over and above the black screen, um, there are reports that some are seeing a blue screen of death with some other niggly issues after installing the driver. And if you are experiencing black screens or blue screens of death on Windows 11 or Windows 10, then at this stage, I think reverting to an older stable version such as 566.36 might be the solution. Now, if you want to stick with 572.83, you can try one or two workarounds. Apparently, turning off G-Sync or frame generation in your game could help. Or turning off overlays like Discord, NVIDIA in-game and MSR Afterburn burner could also um, resolve the issue temporarily. Or you can also try lowering your refresh rate to 144 Hz or lower. Now, if you are still on the older version, 566.36 then basically um, what I would suggest is just avoid the newer GeForce game ready drivers until NVIDIA obviously sorts the issue out and rolls out a fix because NVIDIA GeForce drivers obviously um, game ready drivers are not mandatory um, they're optional so you don't have to install the latest and greatest and I always do say with um, driver and um, drivers that roll out only install the latest and greatest driver if you are really wanting a feature upgrade or it is addressing issues you are having with your system else ignore the driver because a lot of windows issues are caused by um, driver issues and updates and so on but there you go just wanted to keep you guys in the loop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one